Hello everybody, this is BB Games, Brother Bear Games, I'm Rain, and I'm back with Frostpunk, the game where we have to take a city and make it survive through this harsh, harsh world that is now frozen. So yeah, in the last episode we got a lot done, we got a lot more people scouted out, and uh, the faith has been growing great. We had some coal problems and we're starting to get them figured out, but we really need to finish getting it sorted out just where we can have a ton of coal and not worry about burning through all of it to keep our people warm. Um, if you got, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. It means a lot. If uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and just know that you're greatly appreciated. So now we're gonna get into the game. Okay, so 31 people don't have homes. 10 people are hungry, which they just need to get food. Uh, it looks like we have hit the supply depot. The shack is falling apart, but its contents still have some value to us. A hidden stash. Searching the shack, we found plenty of valuable supplies. Sites discovered the wrecked vehicle and stone ship. Take some resources. Let's go. Stone ship. Uh, box like shape is sticking out of the snow there. Let's go check that out. We still have some refugees coming to us, and we're sending some scouts to the shrouded cave. Okay. Cookhouse doesn't have anything to cook at the moment. Uh, I can pass a new law. So let's see. How many more laws are there even? There's literally just one more. With an introduction to the faith, all who voices doubt shall be branded enemies of the faith. Everyone must be devoted, devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who do not follow and will be swept aside. Hope will never be a problem again. A public execution space will be built. Some home, some heretics will die. Some people will feel compelled to fight this law. Some of them will die. Well, we have lots of people, and I not having to ever worry about uh, hope again is amazing. There will be blood, sir. People are rioting in the streets and demanding that you stop what you're doing. They say this isn't what our faith stands for. That you're destroying everything beautiful and pure about it to gain absolute control over our lives. They shout that this is madness and that you're a usurper not our true shepherd roughly a quarter of our people are determined to fight the others are silent uh, people will die a quarter of our people uh, I can't do that how many people do we have 362 and all of them are working that's crazy. Uh, okay, we need more houses. Streets need to be built. And then a street can be built here to cover that one. Okay, and then I think just one person. I don't understand how one person doesn't have a home. Like, how's that going to happen? Too cold for this building. Not if we heat it up. We're still going up in coal. That's what's important. And we're about to get the upgrade for coal mines. Okay, let's see. Coal generator power upgrade three. Range upgrade three. We need more coal efficiency. Uh, actually. Thanks to better weapons and enhanced detection hunters setting out from the hunter's hangar will return with more raw food from each hunt. Hmm. Farmers will employ, employ fewer people. Minus five engineers. That's a big deal. Get some engineers back. All the healthcare insulation will go up by one. Industrial hothouse, an effective steam heated hothouse where a variety of crops can be grown, supplying 60 raw food a day as opposed to 30 raw food a day. Ah, oh, it's so hard to make these decisions. We haven't made any wall drills yet. There's more exploration stuff. 
allows us to assemble an outpost team center to establish a permanent resource outpost far away from the city and maintain a connection with it. And there's also all this factory stuff that we can do. Prosthetics will cost 5 steel less to make. Automata will cost 21 and 20 steel less to make. Improves the workplace integration of Automata, boosting their efficiency by 10%. That's what we need. We need to make... Oh, we need to upgrade our coal mines. So let's do that. Upgrade all our coal mines. And we need a factory. So let's get a street going to the factory. And we'll get the factory up and running with 10 people. I think the next thing... I'm scared to pass that new law. I'm afraid too many, people, too many of our people will die. Cold homes. Uh, isn't it already at like the highest? Set? Oh, it's not at the highest setting. That's really worrying. That's really worrying. It's not anywhere near the highest setting. And we have to make it through the night. On the bright side, everyone has a home except one person. Which is not a fun time. I need that infirmary upgrade. That needs to be the next thing we go for. Because the factory doesn't have... Any engineers? Okay. Um. Okay. We got the five a.m. So that's good. We got some more food that came in. Oh, we have a group waiting. Uh, wrecked vehicle. Whilst disassembling the wreck to salvage what we could from it, we found a hidden cache of supplies. Steel. So, can I... they have steel, food, two steam cores, coal, and wood. I think they should just head back with the supplies they have. And then what we'll send it back out. So that's good for now. Um, okay, three hours. Running from the storm. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say there's some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way. And that we'll die without... They'll die without our help. We never have survived it. Thank our lucky stars, the polar explorer Nason warned us about the disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. 70 people, 30 of them ill, will enter our city. Discontent will rise, hope will rise. 40 people will enter our city. Ooh, everyone's welcome. That's a lot of people. Okay. So we need homes, and we need to start making it to where we need less people at everything. Which is not looking very likely. How long is this going to take? Six hours? We don't have that much time of the day. We need more... We need more uh, space to hold coal. So 
So let's build a road that leads to both of these. Have them be built. One of our people died. Committed suicide? What? Okay. Jeez. There's a lot of sick people. Um, need to make some more. Make another infirmary. How many? Okay, we have a bunch of engineers now. Silent protest. A man has thrown himself into the generator. His widow is here. She said she's looking for answers, trying to make sense of it. He was a quiet man, never said anything against you, Captain. But now some of the people claim that he did it to protest your religious reforms. The priests say that he wanted to show his devotion to you. I don't know what to believe. Why did he do it? You're, protect you're a protector of the truth, you should know. Discontent will fall slightly. The, the clerics are right. I mean, I have to keep things in order, even if it's not 100% true. I need to get these buildings built. So I can get more people uh, to what they need. Okay. Coal. Didn't we? No, we did that. Okay. Uh, four hours. Gotta make it to the night. Now that we can hold a ton more coal. The sick number rose really high. Jeez. Okay. This gave the hideout for some children who were evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to our city. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night their teachers and some hunters took them out from winter home on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, the guardians went back for more and didn't return. It seems the kids were evacuated in time before things in, in their city got really ugly. We have to escort them back. We formed the children into an orderly column and set off towards the city. They walked quietly and resolutely like little adults, the youngest clutching their toys tightly. This is going to be a long journey. Please have warm beds prepared for their arrival. Nice. I don't even have homes for everyone here yet. Is there another technology we can... Um, okay, this one's almost done. I can just check tomorrow. Uh, we need a lot more bunkhouses. Like, a lot more. Oh, I can make upgrades? How much wood do I have? They'll stay on the weather better. Uh, 170 don't have homes? Oh, they're all getting... <sighs> Your house... Why is it everywhere else continues to work, but homes don't in the middle of the night? You know how much that sucks? Okay, so there's going to be more people available. Firmers will heal people for 15% faster. That's what I need to see because there's a lot of sick people right now. A tip from a believer. Captain, a woman has told us that she overheard the neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. We've, we'll follow the lead. Some supplies have been recovered. Good. We need them.
the second wave, another huge group of refugees that have arrived. They're in worse condition than the previous one, many of them victims of frostbite. They all talk about a huge storm coming from the south. Nason led us north because his years exploring the Arctic taught him to survive here using natural resources. Nobody could have guessed what was coming. Should we let them in? Oof. Discontent will rise. Discontent will rise. I think we just have to take the healthy ones from this batch. I'm so sorry. But. We gotta do what we gotta do at this point. Okay. Let's see if we can handle kicking it back up to three. See if we still gain. Okay, we're still gaining. That's, that's really important. We need infirmaries to heal people faster. Where are we missing people? Do we have the range turned all the way up? As far as it will, at least. We need people to get better faster. People aren't really hungry, which is a good thing. Um, the food supply seems to be working out. Discontent went all the way back down. Nobody's quite reached where they want to go yet. This checklist thing is going to be important. Accused priest. Sir, a woman is here to see you. She claims that she has evidence against one of our priests. Our man is... Our man in turn accuses her of heresy. You're my only hope, sir, cries the woman. When I went to denounce this wretched, his colleagues kicked me out. He f He's forging den denun den denunciations to get back at those who cross him. She's lying, the priest shouts. She's a heretic, and all heretics lie. I'm starting with the woman. Because he had a, react a, a reactory response. Storage near capacity on coal. Wow. We need... We literally need all the coal we can get, so... more streets the thing I'm worrying about is we're actually starting to run out of space which I didn't think would happen anytime soon but it is in fact starting to happen so that's what I'm worried about at the moment okay research for infirmaries is done let's see exploration Can get more scouts um, further improves the workplace integration of automata boosting their efficiency by 10% to 80%. Allows automatas to be used in medical posts and infirmaries. Wow, that would... Mm. Be used to workshops and factories. Oof. This is tough. This is tough. I think we're starting to get the coal thing good to go. Uh, food is all right. A comfortable house for 10 people, well protected from the weather. Cookhouse. Cookhouse will be warmer. Why does cookhouse matter? I need people to stay healthy, so I'm gonna make houses and hope that that works out better. Anywhere that doesn't have maxed out people should have maxed out people. What is this? Um, Streets under construction. Ah, so that, that one's not even ready yet. Okay. Um, trying to think of what to do. Our scouts are almost where they need to be. They return safely to the city with steel, food, cores, wood, and coal.
more sick beds are needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking for you to address the problem. Four days to build a new infirmary. I can do that. I have, I have enough engineers. Just gotta find a place for it. It's probably as close as it's gonna get. And we need a street to go to it. Bam. Uh, the temperature's gonna be a problem, but we'll, we'll work on that when the time comes. Wait, where's the factory at? How long does it take to build one of those? Automata. I guess a few days. Ah, uh, we need more houses. And we need to send our scouts back out. Frozen Grove for one of ya. And the other one is going to Stone Ship, Ruin Warehouse, Frozen Pond. No, no, I want the scout team. Okay. We need a lot more houses. Fifty more people are gonna have houses. Alright, I need That's fifty more people. And we still need another five bunk houses. Ugh. I just wish they would take up more people and not just be like better adequately. Better adequately, like, heat-driven. Okay, I can save some wood on the road right here. What? Why didn't the... Okay, whatever. I don't know why they, the road didn't build to those. Okay, I think everyone's gonna have a home whenever these are done. We're actually going... Up on coal for the most part. Um... I don't know where I put the infirmary. Oh, I found it. I don't know. You can do that. That's really nice. I kept my promise. Infirmary is open. And I'm getting everyone houses. And we're getting people... There's a third wave of people! The third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse, exhaustion by their journey, and tending to the greater the ill and injured with them. Their leader, Nason, isn't among them. We evacuated everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who were too ill to travel. Nason among them. God of mercy... God have mercy us all, the great frost is coming, shall we let them in? 60 people. I, don't, I can't have discontent rising. I'm sorry. What loops ahead? So we can now clearly see what the refugees are running from. The great frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. We just need a day or two to prepare our instruments to install them in the beacon. The great storm. I'm assuming that's what this is. Or the great frost. Oh, we do have another infirmary. We need to get the sick taken care of. Okay, we need two more bunk out. Well, we need no, we need one more bunk house. Yeah, 
thing that sucks is that we're gonna have to upgrade like all the houses once this is done in a couple hours and we're gonna need so much wood for that uh, the next thing I need to upgrade is our wood uh, our wood collection because I have not been upgrading that and it's time because now we're starting to run out of wood It sucks because I simply don't have anywhere near enough wood to upgrade all these houses. Okay, so put the automata on coal so it can run throughout the night. Um, where do we need another person at? We have 80 people. Wait, why is it? Oh, crud. I don't need better sawmills. I need to be able to drill into the wall. That's why I'm not getting any wood. Where's the wall drill? That's what I need. I need a wall drill, and it's going to take four hours. So I'll have one. I can make one by the end of the night. But it's not getting any wood anymore. Oh, we don't have any cores. Oh, what am I going to do about wood? Oh, but no. Well, once I get a core, it's going to be uh, bringing a lot of wood, but some of these guys are going to have to find it, I guess, for us. Uh, there's some people. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop for now. We need to figure out policy in the next one. And we need to get more steam cores so we can get more wood. Because right now we are struggling on wood. I'd like to get... Wait, let's see real quick. Where are the houses that we upgraded? I just want to see it on the... Wait, why is... No. They're chilly. But like... I guess it's not that bad. What's the next upgrade for houses house insulation more and more houses houses will cost 10 wood and 10 steel less to build that's nice I, I like I like both these and health insulation too I think we're gonna work a lot on this one after actually we should do that now because we're not going to be able to make a wall drill yet at least until our people come back oh wait okay we're just gonna make houses cheaper we're gonna make houses cheaper and we're gonna stop there and we're gonna work on more of that when we come back in the next episode i hope you guys are enjoying this series i've really been enjoying doing this keeping the civilization alive and we're going to see how much it really takes. Next episode, we might just have to work on the generator, making the generator better, turning up the heat, and just trying to survive the storm that's coming. I want to thank you guys for sticking around throughout this video. It means the world. Your support is greatly appreciated. The time you get our day to watch our videos it means the world to us. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Randy. This has been Frostpunk. And please, bear with us until the next video.